Hello friends, and how on earth are you doing today? Good? Happy to hear that. Let's have a look at more of Nuke's top 5, but this time it's top 10, because this is uh, the top 10 of the year of 2022, I think. Let's go and check it out. Let's go! Let's just let Nuke take over, yeah? Top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. Ooh. I've been getting many gonna requests be good. for a quote scariest clips from all of the top five lists. So I figured that this would be the perfect time to feature some of my personal favorites from the last year. Yeah. And I'll also tell you what I thought was particularly terrifying about each one. And in some cases, a few extras that weren't in the original video. So turn off the lights, go full screen, and let's get to it. Dorm full room volume. ghost. A student at Texas A&M University claims that his dorm room was so intensely haunted that he had no choice other than to just move out. He needs to clean up that dorm room, yeah? Hello? What's going on? Listen to this breeze. Oh. There's no one in there. How did the door slam like that? I don't know. Now, whether you believe this video is real or simply an elaborate hoax, I've yet to hear a plausible explanation for how that flying mattress effect could be achieved. So the video definitely oh, deserves its that. spot in the top 10. Playhouse yeah, Ghost. how did he do that? Phil Koch usually investigates haunted places along with his group, the Wisconsin Paranormal Society. But on this investigation of the Alchemist Theater in Bayview, Wisconsin, Phil decides to go it alone to investigate the allegedly very haunted playhouse. This is the theater. I got a camera set up in this corner here. And, uh... I'm just gonna sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound. But I'm just gonna sit and uh, listen. Excuse me. And just let the camera, crap, just let the camera roll. And uh, uh, getting and comfy. See what happens. Move behind me. Yeah. Jeez. Did you see it? Oh. Something just moved behind me. The ghost just wanted to sit right behind him. He was tired. You know, been walking all day. Or flying. Or whatever they do. Let the ghost have a sit. The old catches wasn't. a theater chair that seems to unfold all on its own. Ooh. He's slightly disturbed by the occurrence, but it's nothing compared to what he finds in the hallways of the theater's creepy basement. Okay, it's 115. Yeah, go to the basement. Anything yet. 
Good idea. I haven't even gone back yet to check on the basements are just so creepy. Hmm? I keep hearing things walking around, but that's probably tenants upstairs. So I, it sounds like there's no stairs, but there might be people up there. You heard footsteps? Right. Very faint, but there's footsteps. I still, it's uh, one twenty five. Still haven't heard anything besides random creaking. Hello? Anybody in here? Well, besides the people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look, see if this prop is still back here again. And then we'll take a look. At it. What? Come on! See if this prop is still back here again. And then we'll take a look. At it. Oh, whoa! Come on! Th Don't just open cool. the door for him. <laughs> oh. That door open? I would shit my pants. Yeah. Right then and there. Open. That door was closing. If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh, oh well. That's just a prop, but a creepy prop. Hello. Probably okay, haunted I don't as well. See anything in here? Hello. Hey. Oh. Scared the bejesus out of me, man. Run. Camera. That door kicking ghost. Out, out, out. Yeah, get out. Run for your life. Wow. Camera, cameras. And you didn't see. Yeah, you don't see a, you don't see a foot or anything, kicking the door open. It was cracked. Wow. Camera, cameras. Out, out, out. That evidence of the paranormal. Phil didn't do many ghost investigations after this video. You tell in my me opinion, in the comment still section one of down the below. This is the creepiest and perhaps the funniest ghost clip we featured this year. The if you like the content, guys, please, please leave a like, subscribe. It helps me tremendously to build a community with this channel. Please. Let's continue. House of Khalil. I featured Jordanian explorer Ehab Kasmiya in another video, and for good reason. He has some of the creepiest ghost hunting videos online. In this oh. video, he is investigating a place he calls the House of Khalil. As the story goes, a man named Khalil went insane and did away with his entire family in this house oh, before no. ending his own life. It is said that Khalil's Why? spirit still haunts Why can't he just... He's tired of life. Just kill himself. Why bring the whole family with him? Well, that's just evil and sad. Wants the home. As he explores, Ahab begins to hear strange noises, and then this. Oh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ahab sees something that looks like a person peering through the window. Yeah. But when he runs inside to check, there's nothing. no one there. But the creepy occurrences don't stop there. Oh. Oh, come. Oh, come oh. Ahab doesn't even seem to notice some of the bizarre events that he catches on camera. Shit's going at down. At one point, it actually looks like a face is peering at him through a nearby window. Bismillah. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hab decides to leave and investigate another abandoned house that is directly upstairs from the first one. But he feels like the ghost or jinn of Khalil might have followed him. As he investigates the house, he begins to feel like he can see something lurking behind him in the mirrors. A shadow, but I thought it was his shadow. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. I think you put it on replay. Jesus, there's no one there. He turned around. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Right away. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. I would shit myself and then I would run for my life and never look back or come back. Wow. Oh. Proof of the paranormal? Tell me in comments what you think. And after that chilling experience, I have oh. decides to just make a quick exit. Since I have turns around and there's no one there. has gained over four times the subscribers he had originally. And he's now at 220,000 subscribers. I've seen many supposed supernatural channels trying to oh. fake or imitate his ghost in the mirror video, but none match up to the downright chilling original. Wow. Unwelcome guests. This next clip was sent in to me by John Plymel. He says that he and his friend Alan were checking out an abandoned farmhouse near his grandmother's home in upstate New York. As you can see, look at the, the state of that house. It sits in the middle of nowhere on a barely traveled back road. The outside. Look at the state of that house. Tear it down. It's full of ghosts. Looks like a classic ghost house. Yeah. It looks like something right out of a horror movie. And yeah. the inside is no better. The house is a death trap full of rot and mold. The upstairs floor is so rotten the two are afraid to even try to venture up the stairs. And the basement is piled with garbage. Huh. Yeah. Yo, I guess that's the basement. That's the basement? Yeah, that's disgusting. What it's just piled hell? up trash. The people just drive by and pile trash in there. Then they hear something upstairs. You're hearing that, right? Like random footsteps? Look at the floor. Oh. If somebody was up there, they would fall through. Bro, I'm getting cold. You can see spitting. Yo. Uh. That shit. I'm going through the bathroom. I'm. Bro! Did you hear it? Could it be some homeless people or junkies or something living in there? But it said they said they heard it from upstairs and you could see the floor was completely rotted. You couldn't walk up there without falling through. And who would live in all that garbage? Even though you're homeless. Oh. Now it's interesting to note that one of the boys mentions that the floor is so rotten that if someone were upstairs, they would fall right through. Yeah. Because when I was watching the That's video, what I, said. I noticed this. It would fall through. Bro. <gasps> Whoa. 
Oh. Through one of the narrow, rotten holes in the floor, it almost looks like someone is staring down at them from above. Or maybe it's just an optical illusion. Either way, the boys did not return to investigate further. What do you guys think? You see it? I'm, I'm speechless. What a crazy video. Creepy as F. Bro. It's a kid's scream. The fact that John you know? didn't see this strange eye peeking at them at the time. Why would that children? Even when he watched his own video back later. The house. Makes the clip especially unnerving. Hider in the house. A man is hired to remodel an empty house for resale. But as he works, he begins to hear strange noises coming from somewhere inside. He suspects that a squatter might have taken up residence in the empty home. Doing this cabinet crown. And I think there's a squatter in this house. I think it's in here. Hello? 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 Anybody here? Hello? There's no one else in the house. He's been running all around. Completely alone. Hello? Hello? Sorry. Oh. The heck is that? Hello? There's no one in there. You open the door. Oh. Who is it? No one could run down the stairs that fast. Oh, what? What's going on? could hear he ran out. It's not him doing that. Eventually, the man works up the courage to come back and retrieve his dropped phone. And never Carpenter come back. Carpenter says that he will never go back inside the house again. Nope, me neither. He claims, quote, there is something evil in that home. Definitely. Whether there's something evil in the house or not, the suspense in this video keeps you on the edge of your wow. seat right till the end. So that's why it earns a spot in the top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. A place of nightmares. Over a six month period, Colombian Twitter user Don Paramo recounted a very chilling story which took place in his new apartment. Paramo's spooky Twitter tale starts when he moves into a new apartment with his cat Octavio. Octavio. <laughs> Octavio, salve. What a cute cat. Hola. He was Hello. amazed that he had been able to find such a spacious, fully furnished apartment with a private balcony for such a low price. But things soon could turn toward the bazaar. Yeah, why His was it so Octavio, cheap? Octavio, who is usually very friendly and gentle, becomes withdrawn and aggressive. <laughs> oh. Ghosts? Leave kids and cats and dogs alone. Look at what it did to that cute cat. 
No. Paramo finds objects move from one place to another and starts to hear strange sounds at night, especially in his bedroom. Me he olvidado contarles lo de la cama. Resulta que me mudé acá y pues, como les dije, habían los muebles y estaba esta una cama de cedro y resulta que dos veces me he despertado porque escucho oh. que alguien ronca durísimo a mi lado. Y pues cuando me despierto, pues obviamente nadie puede What? estar roncando porque a ghost is sleeping pues beside him at solo, night. Pero los ronquidos se escuchan durísimo. Don Paramo even says that sometimes he wakes up feeling as if someone has nudged or touched him in his sleep. He talks to a neighbor and learns that a mentally disturbed man named Tito passed away in his apartment. He died in the very same bed that Don Paramo has been sleeping in. Oh no. The man's body wasn't found by the landlord until weeks after his death. And by he has been time, sleeping in that Twitter bed. On his Twitter account, Don Paramo has built up a large following. After many audience requests, wow. he decides to do a live Periscope stream from his apartment. What live stream. On the live stream shocks everyone. I always consider myself, you know, I don't know if I believe in ghosts. A little skeptical, but videos like these make me believe somehow. Now he does does a live stream that is extremely difficult to fake in your live stream. Let's have a look. Everyone viewing to their core. First, everything is going fine. Don Paramo gives a casual live tour of his home. But three minutes into the stream, things take a turn towards the horrific. Y más cosas. Y lo otro que encontré nuevo fue como un, un hueco que hay en la parte en la parte de afuera. Por la parte de la terraza hay una especie de hueco que no sé a dónde va y se los voy a mostrar. Did you see it? Watch again. Oh. There's someone lying in the bed. As Don Paramo passes by his bedroom, someone or something seems to be lying in his bed. It's a shadow creep. Something dark and terrifying. Paramo doesn't That's even Tito. notice and continues his house tour. Later, when he returns to the bedroom, the bed is empty and there is no evidence that anything was ever there. This was done live. No. Acá no hay nada. Pues Octavio estaba aquí, pero se salió nada más. Yo salí. Bueno. Don Paramo's story about the strange feeling that someone was sleeping next uh -huh. to him and then this dark shape in his bed makes for one of the creepiest stories and one of the strangest live feeds I've ever seen. The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine is always a viewer favorite here on the channel. But this particular video really seemed to put a fright into many viewers, ranking it as one of the year's scariest. Wow. Okay, there he is in the window again. Oh. Went under the what? bed. Say what? I'm speechless. Alright, I'm out of here. Now, if you're wondering why Kent's reaction is so casual in a situation that would absolutely horrify most of us, run. Well, he says he's had hundreds of these bizarre encounters while living in his haunted home. What? Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my oh. God! No! Oh. To see all of Kent's oh. ghost investigations, check out his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Yeah, the I cage. will. In the small town of St. Osith in Essex, UK, there is a very old abandoned prison called The Cage. The prison is unique in that for over 400 years, it served as a jail to confine and execute women convicted of witchcraft. Paranormal researcher Brian Mack and his crew went to the site to perform an investigation into the supposed supernatural activity in the prison. While there, the crew said that they heard strange footsteps and whispers lights turned on and off by themselves 
and members of the crew were bitten or pinched by something that they couldn't see. The experience was so frightening that some crew members actually refused to continue with the investigation. But the creepiest and most bizarre experience of all came when Brian Mack's team attempted to perform a seance while Brian observed from the other room. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here what? for a minute, please. As the seance begins, one of the women's face seems to transform and contort in a horrifying way. Her nose yeah. seems to grow and her mouth curves into a bizarre, inhuman grin. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. What? Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. She was just about to be possessed or something. Look at... Welcome, Goosebumps. You've been here all with you long, but I've got to welcome it. The researchers become worried and call the woman out of the room. It was later found that even though the woman had been wearing several layers of thick clothing, she had a bizarre burn mark down the back of her neck. After the investigation, the woman says that she had horrible nightmares and experienced strange things around oh, her no. home. As for why this video was included in the scariest videos list, well, oh, no. this face. And I yeah. think that's all the explanation needed. When horror becomes oh. horror. This next clip was sent in to me by Andrew Barahona, a filmmaker for Board Film Studios. Andrew was filming a scene for a horror movie in the historic and allegedly very haunted Doña Ana County Courthouse in New Mexico. In the scene they are filming, the actress Chelsea is meant to be acting overcome with fear, because in the movie scene, a killer is supposed to be stalking her through the building's hallways. But acting frightened soon turns into very real terror. Maker and the actress are the only ones on the third floor of the courthouse, but suddenly a startling and very real door slam can be heard from somewhere yeah. nearby. <laughs> then both of them hear some very odd whispering that sounds like it's right in the room with them. And so at the time, I had the camera in my hand, and I almost reacted immediately when I heard it. It was like it was next to me. And so uh, she said she saw something behind me, and we just booked it. Run! <laughs> now, of course, since this clip came from... You could just see the sheer terror in her face when, when they heard that whispering from a professional filmmaker i was especially skeptical but i think the footage along with their very believable reactions speaks for itself yeah a terrifying tour this next it's not like she was an a-list actor or anything right next video is especially unique because it doesn't involve your typical group of ghost hunters this video was taken by adelaide's haunted horizons ghost tours this tour group is exploring the supposedly haunted Talem Town Church in South Australia. The people that you see in this video are all random tour participants, not paranormal researchers. They have no reason to fake their reactions. So, first the tour group's camera and light batteries begin to drain mysteriously. Then very strange things begin to happen to the tour participants. You 
going on? What's going on? And if you think maybe that guy was just a bit unstable or perhaps having a bad day, well, he's not the only tour member who has a very frightening experience. To stop tours completely. That way, because it would spoil the game. What? That is shaking madly. Well, we can either keep going or we can call it a quick. No, I think this is. Yeah, this is, is this is what you come for. Yeah. yeah, it's what we signed up for. This is quite yeah, an active time in the Later in the video, in another area of the church, a tour member says he feels like he's been hit hard in the shoulder by some unseen force. Unfortunately, the camera only catches the audio of the event. I don't know, it should be up the front. Where is the scratch? On my shoulder. See this here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look how well it shows up on this. Oh, just right in that photo. Yeah. That's going to be better than uh, any other. I'll just hold it down for a second. Look at that, Ryan. Oh. Are you sort of freaked out by that? Because I'm like really. <laughs> Jesus. But in the end, no worries. All of the Ghost Tour participants made it out okay. Now, none of these people were so-called professional ghost hunters. They were simply tourists. So they had nothing to gain from acting scared. That's Making true. Making this video one of the most believable pieces of paranormal evidence I've ever seen. That is and true. And earning it a top spot. So that's the top 10 scariest videos wow. of the year. As always, I'm certainly not trying to convince you that any of the clips are real. So it's up to you. Are these real ghosts caught on camera? Or is each and every one of them just an elaborate hoax? You decide. I'll see you next year with even more brand new creepy ghost videos. In the meantime, if you see something that would be perfect for the top five, or if you capture... I don't know, guys. This has been the creepiest top ten, top five list I have ever seen. Wow. I'm creeped out. It turns a skeptical into a believer, almost, yeah? Wow. What do you guys think? Tell, tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And please, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe and like and comment. I will greatly appreciate it. It's totally free. But until next time, take care and stay safe.